Hi, this is Simon at Serif, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create pseudo 3D objects using isometric projection in Drawplus. This cityscape looks impressive, but is more straightforward to draw than you might think. Each building, including all the windows and doors, have been created using planes, which combine to give the illusion of working in three dimensions. DrawPlus gives the option of working across top, front and right planes. I'm going to start by drawing the top section of the largest skyscraper in my metropolis. To start, I'm selecting the 3D flyout from the main toolbar and choosing the top plane. This brings up a grid which we'll use as a guide. At this point, it's a good idea to enable snapping as this makes it easier to join objects created across separate planes. You'll see what I mean later on in the video. To begin drawing, I'm selecting a rectangle quick shape and, once I've selected a line colour, I'm going to left click with the mouse to select a point on the grid. Holding the button, I'm dragging out the area of the roof. It is possible to adjust the angle and scale of the projection, but in this case I'm sticking with the default settings and using my own judgement to get the size looking correct. Now that I'm happy with the size and scale of the roof, it's time to draw the front plane. It's the same process as before. Click a corner and drag out the complete side. Notice that I've selected a darker fill to reflect a light source. And now to draw the final visible side, this time on the right plane. See how this final side is seamlessly joined to the other sides? Made possible by the snapping tool. I'm going to use the same principle of working over three planes to draw the outbuilding on the top of the skyscraper. Now that my building is coming together, let's now add a door and windows. I'm making a feature of this window by drawing a small rectangle within the shape, and with both shapes selected, using the subtract button from the arrange tab to extract the rectangular area. See how the resulting shape is now one object? Now it's time to add some colour. I find it useful to create a custom colour palette on the page, which makes it easy to select exactly the colour required. Select an area of your design and use the colour picker tool to choose a colour from your palette. When selecting colours, think about using shades to reflect lighter and darker areas. Once you've finished colouring, try adding a gradient fill to sections of your design. To do this, select the Fill tool from the Drawing toolbar and draw a line across each individual object to determine the direction of the gradient. You can adjust this until you're happy with the look. The node at each end of the path denotes start and end key colours, which you can tweak if necessary. Let me finish by quickly adding a lighter gradient to the other side of the building. Now that you know how to use planes and colour gradients effectively, you can have fun building up the rest of your city. Adding a background gives your city grounding. If you want, you can even add extra detail like trees and people. To add a tree, I'm using the pen tool to draw the basic outline of the leaves. And for the stump, it's simply a rectangle quick shape drawn in front plane view, with the leaves brought to the front. Quite simple really.
So that pretty much concludes this tutorial about using 3D planes to create pseudo 3D objects in DrawPlus. As well as isometric projection, DrawPlus also supports Cabinet Oblique, Cavalier Oblique, and various diametric and trimetric projections. You can even create your own. Have fun with this great feature, and be sure to share your results at DrawPlus.com. Bye now, and thank you for watching.